I'm really not happy the game hard-coded me to stand there and do nothing while he ran away. Oh, man, I'm so fucking mad about that. na na na, na boo boo and then he ran away. Oh, is that him? I think it might be him. Hey! No, it's Tom Neville. Oh, it's Captain Tom Neville. The camp is under lockdown on the order of Major Kevin. I'm sorry, but I can't let you in, friend. Oh! He's working with the Enclave, and I'm here to violate his corpse in innumerable ways. That is a bold accusation. And do you have any proof to back up your word? I don't really know if I can trust the word of a man I just met. Legion has agreed to negotiate with us. They want to meet our emissary near Cottonwood Cove. I have chosen you as our emissary, if you are interested. All that stuff about Major Tom, you forget about that. Sure. You have to meet your partner for this job. Let me mark his location on your pit boy. Looks like our revenge quest just got postponed, huh? Fuck you, Tom Neville! Why'd you fucking believe me, huh? Huh? <laughs> fucking fuck. You stupid piece of shit. <laughs> fucking asshole. What? Fucking dick. Some days I drink so much I sweat vodka. So if you see me licking myself, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for starting us off on a positive note. Oh, we were, my God. Zach was in a very foul move since last time we I got... Was, I was in a really dark place and you <laughs> brought me back from the brink, Vincent. I appreciate that. The Planet Republic Army needs our help now in a negotiation with the Legion, apparently. Oh, boy. And this guy punched a warrior gecko, so good job. I, I think the game may have just broke. Are we supposed to be talking or killing Chris? We're, we're supposed to be talking to him. Look here, Chris. We can do this the easy way, <laughs> or we can do this the hard way. I like how that was probably the most realistic explosion I think I've seen in this game. I like the way you arranged those landmines in a pentagram as a satanic sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where the microfilm is! <laughs> Tell me where the microfilm is! Before we both die! You have only seconds to live, Chris! Tell us where the microfilm is! Oh, by the way, Chris, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Jiminy Jillikers, Batman. Pull! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right, you want to talk. Got it, got it. Tell me what to do. I have no time for being cordial with you. All right, lad. Well, your voice is just as annoying as I thought it would be. Well, we need a uh, simple. Thanks for insulting me. We need to go meet this Legion emissary and try to work out some kind of deal. Try to avoid violence. It doesn't make us look good, but if they draw our weapons first, we are free to use deadly force. Let's go now. We're just a little bit each still here. My name is Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go, go tell you about a bunch of cool stuff all the way there. No, uh, please don't. I liked it more when you didn't talk. The lead's just right up there! Alright, thanks, Chris. Shut up! <laughs> Who am I supposed to talk to? Which one of you's in charge? Hey, asshole. Who's in charge here? Yes, my name's asshole. Respect. Kaiser. Uh, okay. Are you the emissary of the Plains? Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess. The Plains Republic? Yes, that. Or the Plains Democratic Republic? Or the Plains People's Democratic Republic? Yes, yes, it's one of those ones. Okay, good. I will now quote Kaiser himself. Sure, go ahead. Ah, wait, true to me. I demand that Plains Republic's forces will withdraw from Mojave, or I will personally skin every last Plains soldier I see. End uh, quote. Uh, can't, Ad verbatim. Can't really accept those terms? Why not? I... They're pretty simple terms. I don't know. All right, you die then. I'll kill you. Here I go. Zach, you fired first! You weren't supposed to fire first! No, they said that they were going to kill me, so I killed them first. Oh, Order 66. They had Order 66 on their corpse. Oh, and an enclave dog tag. Order 66. You're always going to meet this place emissary. Give them terms, and if they don't accept them, kill them. Our goal is to make Plains Republic declare war on Legion. So try to really piss them off. Maybe send their emissary as pieces back to their camp. I would love to see the look on Caesar's face. When it hears that the Players Republic has launched invasion of Colorado. Once you have completed your mission, find our Mojave chapter bunker west of Cottonwood near the Colorado River. Serve the Enclave well, Enclave High Command. 
I don't believe it. It was the Enclave this whole time. The Enclave? Dear God. That's why they had laser weapons, because, uh... Legion don't use laser weapons. Ah, and also they also don't normally have Enclave dog tags yeah, on their body. And have a mission from Enclave High Command. Yeah, you know. You know, I normally, think they made a lot of mistakes here. Normally those aren't things that uh, that Legion soldiers do. You know who we were talking about? The Unabomber? Yeah, the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. What about him? Do you know why we were talking about the Unabomber? Do you remember why? Uh, we brought up something about how somebody looked like him. No, we were talking about the MK Ultra program. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know why we were talking about the MK Ultra program? Uh, yeah, because they said something about Ultra. No, because like, there was a note that said, oh, from, from MK. MK. Yeah. Have you pieced together who that is? No. I'm stupid, though. I'll give you a hint. You currently don't like him. It better not be Major Kevin. Oh, how about that? You pieced it together. <laughs> God damn you, Major Kevin. <laughs> Major Kevin sent several assassins after us, and he killed old man, old man. Damn you, Major Kevin, for killing old man, old man. My only friend in this world. I'm going to drink some water. This slight will not go unavenged. Ooh. Ah, oh, that was good. Ah! Hey, that's my water! <laughs> Get out of my water! <laughs> Stay out of the shallow end! Oh. <laughs> Don't swim! <laughs> Kids out of the pool! <laughs> Alright, let's search this cave. Oh no! Legion! Is it's it a disguised Legion? disguised enclave soldiers! Hey, why are you. Wait, is that a disguised NCR soldier? Oh, I think it's more disguised. Yeah, it's Enclave disguised as a bunch of different factions. What? Okay. Chris, pull your weight for once. Really? <laughs> Didn't perceive you as a threat. Apparently not. <laughs> if this is their home base, why are they wearing their disguises right now? Why I don't they know. They should be wearing, like, pajamas or something. Be more comfortable. Yeah, they should be. To be honest, when I want to be comfortable, I just wear all my clothes. That's true, you do hate nudity in all its forms. I don't like forms. being naked. Oh, as soon as the Enclave has activated security protocol on bunker, we can have access to the only floor without the only security code. According to the security thing, there's a high ranking officer on the other quarter's floor. Right now, there's the only floor we can access. I you need to get security code for them. After we get the code, I can unlock the angry floor, which has everything access. We need to stop the Enclave here before they can do more damage. I understood maybe half of that. You need to get out of here! Get out of here real quick! Alright, I'm leaving. I'm yeah. leaving. Chris is dumb and I hate him. Do the job he left behind. Apply to the U.S. Employment Office. Oh, you know who that is? I don't think that's Rosie the Riveter. It looks kind of like Rosie the Riveter. Not quite the same. Maybe it's... it is. Well, she's a driller, though. Maybe it's Rosie the Driller. Come on! What? Okay, this is what I was talking about. Yes, they're all in their pajamas and... What? Now it's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hope's just running around through a building chasing down <laughs> attractive young females and cutting them into pieces <laughs> with a chainsaw. That's true. We do seem like the psychopaths in this scenario, don't we? We do. The M1 does my talking with your cartridges. Yes. So donate your gun cartridges for my M1. Yeah. I don't talk to people. I use an M1 Garand. Yes. Or that, Garand. That's my favorite way to converse at the end of a barrel. People either say it's M1 Garand or M1 Garand. Is there a official pronunciation? I don't, I don't know which one is actually correct. Is there a I've always called it a Garand, why but apparently there, a lot of people call it a Garand. Why is it called the Garand? Is it because that's like the that? Nah, that's the name of the guy that invented it. That would have been my guess. She that, was not innocent. That was just a hostage. Kill them all. We're taking the Russian form of negotiation here, which is kill them all because they shouldn't have been captured in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> there was that one guy who was like, my son got captured by the enemy. Oh, no, that wasn't a czar. That was Stalin. Stalin's son, whose name was also Stalin, go figure, <laughs> Yeah, uh, got captured by the Germans. And the Germans said, we will trade you your son for um, a colonel. And Stalin basically said, I will not trade a lieutenant for a colonel. This and that was it. Yeah. That was the end of the conversation. Oh, 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 oh! Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it! <laughs> you finally got your Gauss rifle! Oh, lordy yes, lordy yes! Fucking die! Jesus! <laughs> Stalin is using Driver Nefi's weapon. Vincent. His name is Vincent, Vincent. not Stalin. I just called him Stalin. Oh, I get those two confused all the time! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up there! Hold up there, Lieutenant Jerry! <laughs> Lieutenant Jerry, that's his name? I just launched him clear across the room. Did you see that? I didn't, actually. He's like, oh, man, I picked the wrong day to stop smoking. <laughs>
we were fighting Lieutenant Jerry here. Yeah. This is where all the blood was. Yep. Look where Lieutenant Jerry ended up. Yup. Yeah, I kind of screwed him up real bad. And a security key. Uh-oh. Uh, did you turn off the lights, Vincent? Was that you? Let's go back and talk to Chris. Bet you five bucks Chris is dead. Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to take that bet because I know he's dead. Oh, he's not dead! Oh, I should have Damn taken it. you up on that bet because I would have won that bet. You won five bucks. Well, that's security key, Carl. I can unlock the army floor for you. You should be able to find a security terminal from there. For that security terminal, you can lift lock out. Now, let me take that key from you. Okay, you can have the security key. All right, I've unlocked the armory floor. You can now use the elevator to get down there. All right, well, let's go lift the lockdown from the armory level. Oh, hi. He is really eager to die. You really he? couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> Shot the weapon right out of his hand. <laughs> This looks like there's probably some free shit in here. Oh boy, a whole five bullets in here, I'm sure. Yeah, look, A12 gauge round. A12 gauge round. A singular 12 gauge round. And also a singular 12 gauge round. <laughs> that was totally worth my time. I like to think that Major Kevin put them like that just to spite you. I think you're giving Major Kevin too much credit. Wow, thanks for <laughs> unlocking that. There was nothing in it. I don't like the sounds coming from behind this door. They remind me of the noises my stomach makes when I'm hungry. Sounds like a gurgling noise in there? No, it's like... Like that. Does your stomach do chants? Yes, my stomach does Mongolian throat singing when I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe this is the real Project Mammoth. Oh! Zach? Oh, Landmines! <laughs> I wanted to warn you that, yes, there were landmines at your feet. Hey, um... Ooh. Maybe we could use this terminal here to open the door? We can't go that way and we can't access Oh man, it's terminal. like a bug zapper! <laughs> I'm a moth. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those are so c And they're moving! Oh, is this what happens when a mommy and a daddy satellite oh, dish get together? Oh, that's so cute! I want a little tiny satellite dish for my desk! My guess is that what's gonna happen is the moment I activate that terminal, dickhead McPisspants is gonna come in here and be like, Oh, I've betrayed you. Ha ha, you are so stupid. And I'm gonna be hard-coded to not do anything, so I'm just gonna put these down in advance. Lockdown has been lifted! Yes, let's return to Chris! We didn't get attacked after all. Right? That didn't sound great. <laughs> uh, well, what the hell was that noise? Uh, yeah. The f fuck? I heard a loud thumping. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> no, 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 no! I am not having this today! I am not de- Wow! Hope! <laughs> Holy crap, Hope! Hope, you are just proving yourself in leaps and bounds lately. I had my grenade launcher ready and everything. I was gonna just start shooting grenades at it and probably die horribly. You and Vincent, seriously. Props to both of you. High five. Also, credit where credit is due. Your screams did alert us to the danger that was present. Thank yes, you. Yes, I let you guys handle it. We now have access to all levels. Great job. Don't wait. That can't be. What's going on now, Chris? I don't know. Something strange is going on. I can... <coughs> <coughs> Find the chief engineer, you say? Yes, that's what I said. I'll stay in monitor situation. Good luck. <laughs> I'm glad you understood what he was saying, because I, I didn't. <laughs> let's all go to the utility level. Let's all go to the utility level. Uh, let's, let's all go to the utility level and have ourselves a snack. But let's not. Delicious things to eat. I don't. The popcorn can't be beat. I'm concerned. The sparkling drinks and the candy. The chocolate bars and the brandy. Wait, do they serve alcohol at movie theaters? Oh, this one they do. Whoa, hey, Enclave Lo- Oh, they're having a firefight with each other. Hey, maybe we should just lock the door and let them duke it out. Apparently there is a bit of an internal political scuffle going uh, on. Oh yeah, there's an internal conflict happening. Oh, all the bodies are falling down there. Let the bodies fall to the floor! Let the bodies fall to the floor! Oh! Oh! Scientist log number one! Captain told me to write down things that happen here. I'm not really a writer. But orders are orders. Nothing exciting has happened today. We are still moving in after evacuation Navarro base. There are a lot of work to do here. A scientist wrote this? He's a scientist, not an English matician. I, f <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to write for a while. It has been 
few weeks since the last log. Me brain work no good. But nothing has happened really recently. Although I have to write about Captain Kevin. Before he was promoted. He volunteered to lead an expedition to the Minnesota bunkers. We have lost connection with them. I hope he never returns. He is a vile man. Not just vile, he's kind of a doo-doo head. Well, no! Oh! They have an intercontinental ballistic missile! Is that a good thing? They have an ICBM! Is that a good thing? That's not really a good thing. Uh, let's see what the chief engineer's log says. This is my final log. It seems that Kevin has gone crazy. He's led a rebellion against the high command. I'm afraid we are outnumbered. They are coming for me. They want the missile armed. I can hear it. He mashed the keypad and then hit save. Disarm it, Zach! I'm trying! Disarm the missile! Okay, you I can't- You got T-10 or whatever! I can't disarm it. Oh, oh. That's probably not good. Well, let's go see what we're supposed to do here. Maybe we can disarm it manually? Back to the lobby. Let's go back to the lobby. Chris, what do you have to say? This is really bad! Oh, he <laughs> finished our song! <laughs> It seems they've armed a nuclear missile. At least according to the terminal used, this is bad. Really bad. Maybe we can stop it somehow. Hmm? Yes! If you can get to the command center of this bunker and look for the main terminal, there must be an override switch. Uh, there are a bunch of turrets lining this area. Maybe we should just take them out before they become hostile. That's a good idea. Yeah. We'll do that so I don't have to shoot them later. A smart idea here. Ain't much to that fight. They were more scared than a puppy pooping peach seed. No, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The robots doesn't really make sense that time. That was an easy fight. <laughs> like hunting elephants on ice skates. Yeah, robots can't really be scared. Meanwhile, that turret, I'm so frightened! Oh, I just robo-shat my pants! No, <laughs> he didn't even talk to Major Kevin! I got nothing to say to you, Major <laughs> Kevin! I got nothing to say to you! you Hard code me to not do anything, will you? You son of a bitch! You go fuck yourself! Hey, <laughs> team back in Major Kevin! <laughs> Yeah, how's it feel, Major Kevin? How's it feel to be a loser? How's it feel to be a loser, Major Kevin? I guess if you kill Major Kevin outright, the game breaks and we have to... Yeah, we have to start all the way over again. Alright, let's go talk to Major Kevin. Vincent, just kill me. Hang on a second, I'm gonna do one thing. Just give me just a second. Alas, poor Yorick! I hardly knew him! 